Hello and welcome, hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we'll show you how to set up your Mag TV box. You should have with you in the box a remote control, HDMI cable, two AAA batteries, a power cable for Mag box, and you'll probably need an Ethernet cable. First we need to connect the mag box to the TV, which we will do with the supplied HDMI cable, connecting it to the HDMI ports on the box and the TV. We make sure that the TV is set to the correct input source for the mag box. We then connect the power cable to the mag box, which will then start to boot up, and you will see the Infamia logo on the screen. We then press OK to clear the privacy policy and enter into the inner portal of the mag box. We navigate to settings and press OK. and then navigate to system settings and press OK again. Now we can connect your box to the internet. If your box is close to the old router, we can use the Ethernet cable. or we connect via your Wi-Fi network instead. You locate your Wi-Fi network on the list of networks available and using the keyboard button on your remote control Input your Wi-Fi network's password. We can check to make sure the box is connected to the internet by going into network info and seeing if the link status is up. If link status is down, chances are you've typed the password in incorrectly. We return to the system setting page and navigate to the general option in servers where we input the time service URL.
We go back to the server screen and go into portals. In the second field, Portal 1 URL, you type in the URL for the service that you've subscribed to. We return to System Settings and go into Advanced Settings option. We disable the HDMI CEC option as sometimes this causes problems between the Magbox and the TV talking to each other when you don't want them to talk to each other. In the system settings we then go to software update and update the software in the Magbox to the latest version. Your Magbox will reboot once it has updated. And your TV service should be available to you now. There is a second option that I like to turn off that again stops the box from talking to the TV at the wrong time. Go to settings and down to video. Set HDMI Event Reaction to Ignore. And then exit the menu and you can start to use your TV service. Please place a like if you found the information in this video useful and hit that subscribe button to be notified of future video releases and to help the channel grow. Thank you.